Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. Sitting in my space, mister. Oh, sorry, Cap. I was just trying to chart the wormholes to Earth. Look, Captain, I grew up... Not now, Gore. Spider, you know we can't go back to Earth until we put the skids on Nebula. Look, Spider, I... I... Later, Gore, buddy. Listen, Cap, I say we take your wormhole express back to Earth and let the rest of the monkey-loving universe take care of itself. Capiche? No, Spider, it is our responsibility. That's very nice, Gore. Wait, wait, wait. Spider's got a point. We've done our duty. We've saved planets, whole galaxies. And, of course, cheese! We were not given these gifts by accident, Captain. It is our responsibility to use them. Captain, I, I just wanted to show you... Gore, I'm sorry, but we're talking about something important right now, okay? How can we perfect a cybernetic service droid if we don't adjust the motor drive to coordinate the transneural personality matrix? Cybernetic service droid? I thought we was making a juicer. Well, it might as well be a juicer without a simple enough mining room in which to base the personality matrix. Nobody cares about my plant. I wish I had someone who cared about the things I care about. Of course, Carl. The problem is that your simple mind is... is... Perfect. It is? Spitzy, are you pondering what I'm... No, I suppose that's too much to ask for. What is it? Where'd it come from? Where does it go? now. Let's not take any chances. What is the monkey loving? Uh, I suppose somebody can explain this? But of course, Captain. Gore was in need of a soulmate, so to speak. So I have created an android. And I have. I have named him Isaac. Uh. Hello? <laughs> Little guy's kind of cute. Get him off my head. Interesting project. His brain is modeled on gauze, but his physiology is clearly orangutan. The most advanced species of primate. Most Say advanced? what? Wait, that's it. That is what, Captain? Androids. We'll build highly advanced androids to finish the job for us. Now you're talking, Caparino. I, on the other hand, am skeptical. Dr. Splitz, can you make us these androids? Sadly, no, Captain. We do not have the requisite materials. Isaac's nothing but twine and paper clips. Wait, just a minuto. There's an android planet, Cyber One. Read about it in Space Time magazine. Check. Set course for Cyber One. the buttons, Isaac. Shaolin, Spider and Holoboon 829-55B, come with me. Dr. Splitz, Gore, stay in comlink and do not leave the ship for any reason. Oh, and Gore, keep Isaac away from anything important. Okay? Fear not, Captain. Given Isaac's limited mental acuity, I shall monitor his behavior carefully. And what? A 
this technology. I do not trust it. This place is running like clockwork. Something is wrong. There is no soul here. No, Shaolin, this is exactly the type of technology we need. Strangely soothing. Space monkeys, flip out! <laughs> Identify yourselves. I'm Captain Simeon, and this is my crew. We come in peace and with goodwill. You are organic life forms. You must speak with our father. Jack, take us to your uh, father. Why are we pouring water on these plants? So they can grow. Will Isaac grow? Yes, Isaac. You will grow. No, no, no. You'll short-circuit your connections. And that is bad? Isaac, come with me. I want to teach you the computer languages Fortran, Pascal, and something really important. Country line dancing. And that is good? We are busy now. DNA, and he was trying to kill us. That usually counts against a person. Matrix, we need your help to fight Nebula, to save the universe. I am grateful to you, Captain Simeon. I once extracted knowledge from you and your crew that enabled me to create this world, but I have no interest in organic concerns. For I have created civilization. I have created life. everything. Matrix, baby, have I got a deal for you. You, the party in the first part, do commit to provide androids to us, the party's in the second part. I don't think you like that last party. Matrix, you've got to trust us. Why? Because we come in peace and with goodwill. I told you not to play with the buttons, Isaac. Oops. Peace and goodwill. I don't think so. Space monkeys, look out. You put on. Ineffectual, Captain. This is my planet. I control all technology. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Matrix, you'll never control us. We're alive. We're not mindless machines like your androids. That is about to change, Captain. In one moment, you will enter the world of technological bliss. That truly is life! Orbitron, can you help us? I'd really love to, Captain, but it's bingo night. Gotta get that thing fixed. Shaolin, can you reach your bow? The bonds are too tight, Captain. Then get ready to cut loose! Take a toy robot, bro! And I mean that 
good way. Don't you never, ever push that button again. I have already told Isaac that, Splitsy. Perhaps his development would be better guided by a fellow orangutan. He is a gorilla. I designed him. He is orangutan. He came from my brain. He is a gorilla. This is the captain. It's Matrix. He controls everything on this planet. Prepare the Primate Avenger for emergency departure sequence. Tangerine, monkey blood. Splitsy, score, Dr. Splint. He's of no use, Captain. Matrix has obviously disrupted transmission. I'm starting to dislike that guy. We must do as the Captain commands. Prepare for... Go, oh, darn it, look! Isaac! No! We've got to split up. Shaolin, you and I will flip out left. Spider, you flip out right. We'll meet at the ship. Aye, aye, Cap. At least we can count on good old Gore and Splitsy. Isaac... Please come here. Come here, you little pea picker. Indeed. Desist from this obstreperous behavior. Isaac will not come back until he knows who he is. You are Isaac. But what is Isaac? Excellent, Gore. His progress is quite astounding. From innocence to classic adolescent anxiety. Hmm. The next step in his maturation process would be foolhardy rebellion. Well, then that little pea picker's right on time. Isaac, don't! hero again. Thanks, Bubba. Why did you do that? It's our job to help each other. Cat. The veritable belly of the beast. Let's go a trapped by one's own limitations. I was going to say that. by an organic sensory force field. We must exhume forthwith. Huh? Turn up the juice and let's vamoose! Come on, Isaac. Isaac is not going. But you have to. You said we are supposed to help each other. And Isaac is... I am the only one who can shut down the power grid. You must escape in the ship before the backup generators go online. Excellent progress. 
she's come into full adulthood, the bearing of responsibility. But I don't want him to be an adult. I am an android. I belong here. You gotta leave, Gore, buddy. Come back and see me after you defeat Nebula. I will. I promise. Goodbye. Father? Yes, well, I suppose technically Gore is your actual parent. I was merely involved in the development of your... Goodbye, Uncle. If it's cold, don't forget to wear mittens on your hands and your feet. Dad. Blitz, why aren't you on board? We'll explain later, Captain. What you should know is that Matrix's power grid will go down in exactly five seconds. To the ship, now! He was the only one who could save us, and he chose to remain behind and shut down the power grid. All because Gore showed him how to be a hero. It was heroic of you, Gore, to let Isaac choose heroism. And it's our choice, too. We're going to stop Nebula, and we're going to do it ourselves. But will Isaac be okay down there? With Splitty's strength in your brains, he's got nothing to worry about. <laughs> 